So this couple comes in together to buy an engagement ring and they had a budget of about $20,000. Stop it. Stop it right there. Mm -mm. From the Oak Wall Studios in Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> Hello there, this is Jesse Oakley III speaking. In today's topic, $20,000 for an engagement ring. You just need to stop it just right there. Do you know how much $20,000 is worth? $20,000, that's a car. That could be tuition at college. That could be five cartons of eggs. But $20,000 for an engagement ring? I don't think so. And even if you were to spend $20,000 on an engagement ring, you got to be sure that the marriage is going to last. Otherwise, what good is marriage if you spend $20,000 on an engagement ring expecting to be in debt? And this along with the $350,000 for marriage and all the other costs that are out there associated with a wedding. Now, I'm not saying to go cheap or go to the point where you get $5 for a wedding or two dollars for a ring but twenty thousand dollars is just totally 100 percent ridiculous if the marriage is going to last then that better last five lifetimes over if you're spending twenty thousand dollars for a ring now yes there are so many people out there that they just don't get married just for the long-term commitment or the partnerships there are some people out there that want to get married just for the attention and said Ooh, this is my day. This is, I'm special. This is all about me, me, me. And then a few months later, they end up in divorce court. And that is truly a doggone shame. Now, if you spend $20,000 on a ring, the partner better be well worth it. And what could the partner bring for $20,000? Would a person actually obey the laws and obey the 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 declaration of marriage to having to hold sickness and health, death to a part? Are they willing to do that? Are they willing to obey that? Or are they willing to actually do certain parts around the household that could be a partnership or a team effort within marriage? If they are, they better be darn well worth the $25,000 for the engagement ring. Yes, there may be some people that look at this video and shake their heads like, who does this person think he is? Talking about not to buy a $20,000 ring. Now, if you are one of those people that just are in it for the ceremony or just in it for the ring or for the attention, as a person who's been married for 10 plus years, all I can tell you is the wedding is one thing. The marriage is something that's totally different. And if you're going to partner up with a spouse, be with someone that's going to be the ride or die or be the one that's going to be a potential awesome teammate like the marriage I do have right now. And I did not have to pay $20,000 for a wedding ring. I'm not going to mention how much I pay, but it's less than, I do mean a fraction of $20,000. Now, for those people that just want to have a short t wedding or just want to make the attention and all about them, you're forgetting about the part where it's about a team effort. It's about joining in holy matrimony, not holy macaroni. If anyone were to convince you or try to guilt you or try to suggest that you buy $20,000 for an engagement ring, you may want to rethink your priorities. There's so many th things that you could spend on $20,000, and a ring sure as heck shouldn't be one of them. This is Jesse Wickley III speaking, and until next time, take care and have a great day. Bye. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, I have other videos right here that you can check out. And feel free to subscribe to this channel, ring the bell, and you'll get some more words of wisdom from yours truly, Jesse Wickley III. Until next time, you take care. Remember to always have a great day. Bye.